In this video, I will show you how to borrow games on Steam. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is open up Steam and sign out of your account. So once that's done, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is have your friend sign in onto your PC with their account details. So that's gonna be your friend that you want to borrow games from. Now, once you've gone ahead and signed in, what you're gonna to want to do is come up to the top left-hand corner and press onto Steam up here. From the menu that comes up, just go down and press on to settings. Then what you want to do on this screen that comes up is come over to this menu on the left hand side and select family. So what you want to do is basically authorize library sharing on this device. So you want to go ahead and turn this on. And as you can see, we it's detected the other profile on this PC. So what you would do is turn the switch on so you can share games with your friends. And what you also want to do is click the manage button next to family library sharing. And this way you can come to check to make sure everything's okay. Also, if you want to revoke access, you can come here and revoke the access at any point from here too. So once that's done, just go ahead and get your friend to sign out of the account. And then you can just go ahead and sign back into your account. So here we are back on Steam. Now, if you've gone ahead and followed the steps correctly, what you're gonna to want to do is come up to the top left-hand corner and press onto library, and you will see all the games available from your friends over here. So what you can do is click onto any of these, and you can go ahead and click install to install that and play them. Now it might say something different, it might say like borrow, but it's basically the same thing. And as you can see underneath, it says from the library of the other account. So that's how to go ahead and borrow games on Steam. I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.